Alright, I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to blur out people's faces using Adobe Premiere Pro, which is not After Effects. You don't even have to touch After Effects for this. Um, there are a couple different ways that you can go about doing this. Um, what I use is a different way. It's a way that I came up with myself after watching some videos on YouTube and stuff that didn't really help me out a whole lot. Um, this method is a little bit more straightforward than some but it works really well for me. So uh, first what you're going to do is you're going to go into Adobe Premiere Pro, of course, and make a new sequence, um, whatever your dimensions are and stuff. It doesn't really matter. And you're going to import a video, which I already have mine here. What you're going to do is you're going to drag it onto your timeline right there. And uh, I don't need to blur this whole thing, so I'm just going to get a section of it here. By the way, I picked a video where the blur subject is moving so that I can show you how to do that too because it's a little bit more complicated than just blurring it um, once we've got our video in uh, the next step after we've got this here got our, this is what we want to blur the next thing we have to do is basically get the same video so you can do that by clicking on it control C over here control V we now have the exact same video as the first one what we're gonna do is we're going to delete the audio of the second video by locking video one and right click clear on video or on audio one on that and you're gonna drag it right over top so now we basically have the same video if you look if I click the eye icon here we have the exact same spot same video <laughs> So now that we've got our second video on top, we're going to go over here to effects and we're going to search mosaic. We're going to drag it on a second video just like that. And we're also going to search Gaussian whoops, Gaussian blur. Let's stick that on there. Go under effect controls. And then one more crop and crop goes on there as well now when you go up here to effect controls you need to make sure that crop is in between mosaic and Gaussian blur that Gaussian blur is first then crop then mosaic or if you're going down mosaic crop and then Gaussian blur that's how it should be Gaussian blur um, you're gonna want to make it slightly blurry I'd say maybe like 50 or so not yeah that works and then um maybe a little less than that but then mosaic here you can drag this stuff around to make it not quite as blocky if you don't want it as blocky it doesn't have to be all right whatever that's fine for our purposes you can always change that later too go under crop here click that little icon there, go back to the beginning of your video because we're going to start to um, do the actual blurring now. Once you're at the beginning of the clip and you're selected on video 2 and you have all your effects up here, you're going to click all these little clocks, which basically these are, um, it's activating the keyframes so that if you move the effect, then it creates an animation basically. We'll do that later. But uh, click up here on this little box with the mouse and you'll see on your video you can drag around the corners of video 2 that have the effects on it basically what you're gonna do is drag it so that they are in a box around your victim's head if you click off you should see that the blur that we have on the effect has made it so that the edges aren't as, as uh, visible if we take it off then it's a little bit different you can keep that on if you want I like it kind of blurred and blocky so that's just what I'm gonna do um, now that we have this all done if we click on crop again and click on that little square basically what we have to do now is I'm gonna use the arrow keys and go forward like three at a time maybe and just move the block so that it's on his face and go forward another couple and basically what this does is Adobe automatically adds an animation in between each time you move the block 
so it makes it smooth and looks like it's still on his face you're gonna have to check it every now and then because it's not always perfect and if he moves a whole lot then you're gonna have to move it more often obviously but um as you can see we're almost done with this It'll just be a second and that's it and uh yeah that that's all there is now if we watch it he's old school red blue his face leaf green very easy um not hard at all if you have more than one face in the picture you can always um copy and paste your video too so you have another layer and then all you do is just delete all of your keyframes so that you basically start a new and then you just drag it and put it somewhere else you get the idea so yeah that's it that's how you blur means old school red face, blue the easy way leaf green kind of easy way it's much easier to use Adobe After Effects and use motion tracking but that doesn't always work for everyone so and not everybody has After Effects so yeah